for the Bullseye Project in Southeast Asia camo is all done. We got the uh, clear coat on, we got all the rest of the decals put on, we got the engine burner cans and inserts are all installed. We got the base done. I figured out what I was going to do with it and got it done. Um, everything's all unmasked and shiny where it should be shiny and not shiny where it shouldn't be shiny and all those good things and you can see it's a monster up on the stand um, give us one second and then we'll get in for a little bit closer look at stuff okay let's start off with the base here I said in the last video I had no clue what I was going to do with it and during a hangout yesterday I was hit with the bright idea to make it look like the radar screen or bomb sight screen from the cockpit with the CRT display with the uh, hash marks on it and then I put the uh, B-58 Hustler and the SAC shield on there just for for fun and let's see if I turn it around here a little bit so you can see it we got kind of this is not a light reflection it's actually painted in it's like the uh, radar sweep on the on the screen and up right up in here which is in the shadow there's a little blip on the on there and I may drill that out and put a little LED in there just so it lights up and then move on around on it you can see that I uh, painted it with the uh, AK Interactive Titanium over the black and then I took uh, Vallejo uh, Green Chrome and it's in it down about 80% it was like 20% paint 20% uh, retarder and 50% thinner and sprayed it on very lightly over the titanium so it just brought up just that green tint all the way around on it and I had already masked off for the uh, the hash marks and we said we did that all the way around on it I don't know if I can swing it to where you can see the yep you can just kind of see that radar blip there but anyway that's the base we talked about in the last video that my thoughts on the aircraft were that when they painted at the uh, engine the ends of the engine inlet and the uh, the internal cones were stayed in the bare natural metal finish so I did that with this one using the AK Extreme Metals again. And I don't know if we can get enough light. Let's see if we can get it. There we can see down there a little bit. You can see the uh, first stage compressor in there is also in the chrome. There's not a whole lot else to see underneath. It's, it's all flat black. You see the burner cans there. We did those. So we did the uh, burner cans here with the uh, AK Extreme Metals again. The jet exhaust, pale burnt metal, and dark burnt metal. We used the. Uh, they kind of got the pale here at the. This end, you got the dark over here, and the jet exhaust in the middle. And I want a little more highlight on it, so I don't know if it'll show up in camera here. Shows up real well in person. I had some dark copper that I kind of dry brushed on here and there. But that's not wanting to show up. It'll show up. I think it shows up pretty well in the stills. So there's that part. Right back. And we're back. Uh, one of the hardest things I'm having trouble shooting, which... Um, I'm going to try to shoot some more stills next day we have sunshine whenever that might be 
is uh, the fact that we do have a pilot in the cockpit. Let's see if I can get in there. He should be staring you right back in the face. Yep, there he is. He's kind of blurry. See if I can maybe get a little more light in there on him. And out there. Yep, there he is. He's in there, Bill. Sam? Sam, I told you. In case anybody's wondering, that's Panther Man Bill, who uh, always teases me about not having pilots in my planes. So I make sure, make a point of anytime I got a pilot in the, in the plane and do an extra fidelity of detail that I I gave him a mention, so. so that's the pilot, and you can also see the, the decals there, all done up. They're on the tail, and we want to look at one more thing here before we go. There we go, the camera's cooperating a little better than it was. The other night, for we were trying to show off the M61 Vulcan cannon in the rear defense pod. There, I'm gonna cheat fate and try to zoom in a little bit more on it. There, you can just see the uh, the uh, styrene or styrene. I keep wanting to say styrene. Stainless steel syringes. Styrene, syringe, styrene, syringe. Yeah, you get it. So there, and I did go ahead and wrap part of the barrel with bare metal foil and another little strip right here at the end of the band to hold, the, to hold them together. And, uh, well, it's not perfect. Far from perfect by that, by actually. It still looks better than the kit part did. Because that kit part, it to go back two videos, I think. It was just a plastic tube with six bumps on the end, and it just it wasn't. It wasn't up to par for me. So, I said I built the built that one. All right. One last thing I wanted to show was the uh, pedo tube here. It's the metal, I got the metal one, and I, well, as you can see it, I've got the barber pole, red and black on there, and I left it loose because it's kind of delicate, but I still need to go. I had some tape on it, but I screwed it up earlier when I bumped into it. So I need to put some more tape on it to hold it in because I want to be able to take it out when I store the model. And uh, or when I actually move it or take it to a shows so it's not glued in I need to put another another wrap of tape on it to tighten it up in that hole just a just a touch so let's uh, zoom back out we'll move him back over here where we can see him So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. There is our B-58 Hustler in uh, Bullseye Project to be a Pathfinder in Vietnam. And the Southeast Asia Camo, the one, the only, the unicorn. And I hope you enjoyed looking at this build. And There'll be lots of stills here, and if you check on Facebook or on my Google Photo page, which I'll put a link it link to for the album. When I get a sunny day, I'll I'll shoot some outdoor pictures of it, and I may even break out the other B58 and shoot a shoot them 
side by side. Let's see, I'm really happy with this turned out. I'm glad I built it in white. I really like that that look. And uh, so that's it. I'm going to work on a quick build on my next couple of days off from vacation. Work on a monogram F16. A quick. I keep calling it a quick build, but I spent three hours tonight just working on the intake. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So have a good evening, everybody, and we'll see you on the next video. Good night.